This is the flat bead frame, also known as the golden bead frame. And I want to introduce this material first. So um, we can notice that on this bead frame, all the beads are golden. And there are 10 sets of 10 golden beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in each set. Along the top of the bead frame, we'll see the simple hierarchies, units, tens, hundreds, with a white background. The hierarchy of thousands, units of thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, with a gray background. And the hierarchy of millions, units of millions, 10 millions, 100 millions, with a black background. This reminds us of the large bead frame. Along this side of the bead frame, there's a green dot, which represents the units place of the multiplier. And there's a line, a horizontal line, drawing us to this first line of golden beads. The tens place of the multiplier will be on this blue dot and the horizontal line brings us to the tens line of this set of golden beads. The hundreds place of the multiplier to the hundreds place of the multiplicand. And the thousands place of the multiplier is on a green dot and that multiplication starts to be recorded here. The other thing to notice about this bead frame is that along the bottom line, the bottom part of the frame, there are a series of red zeros. And what this bead frame will do will help us move towards more abstract multiplication. The one other thing I want to show you is how I would record a multiplicand that I'll be doing on this bead frame. So I have a special strip that I'm going to use to record my multiplicand 1,345. I always record my multiplicand starting with the units place. So five in the units place, four tens, three hundreds, So when I start my multiplication, and my multiplicand is 1,345, this is what it will look like when I place that strip on the bead frame. And now I'm ready to multiply. So to show how this bead frame works, I'll start with a one-digit multiplier, which is four. So the problem I'm working with is 1,345 taken four times. I'm using the gray numerals, and the multiplier is on the green units place for the multiplier. So five taken four times is 20. There are 10 units here, but I need 20 units, which means I'm going to go right over to the tens place. Four taken four times is 16 tens. 16 tens means six tens, one in the hundreds place. Three taken four times is 12 hundreds. 12 hundreds is recorded as two in the hundreds place, one in the thousands place. And now one thousand taken four times, one taken four times is four. And I read my product, 1,345 taken four times, right here from the beads. There are zero units, eight tens, three hundreds, five thousands, so I read five thousand, 380.